<laughs> just like, ah, sweet. Woo, yeah, excited. Excitement. Excited, uh, hell. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Recap Saturday. What? Uh, <laughs> It doesn't matter anymore because the last time we did this was like literally a month and a half ago. So who knows what day yeah. we'll recap on. Who uh, are you again? <laughs> the <laughs> show where we go over everything that happened during SNRPG. Mm -hmm. Our Sunday night RPG stream. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. And we lied. Can, can, can we just start off that we lied when we said we're back? Cause we're not. We're we're more back than we were when we were gone. This is this is true. Uh, um, but we're... So so here's the thing. Here's the thing. We said Here, we were back. Here's, here's the sitch. Uh, yes, I'm going on vacation, so I won't be here for the next two weeks. But I don't know if you if you guys won't play without me. You totally can. But you gotta decide that today, cause I gotta drop my shit off at your house. Yeah. No, fair enough. Uh, well, but, uh, I mean, we get a, uh, uh, we could always do my shit. I can un, I can un, unbolt it. From yeah. your <laughs> um, unbolt my microphone. Just literally, just like fuck it, take the whole arm with me. <laughs> just no, 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 no. Just nah, nah. put the wheels on the bottom of your desk and roll it over. There you go. Anyway, tangent. So yes. yeah, we're not, we're not exactly like back, back. Um, because I'm going away, but. Uh, we're we're kind of getting back into the swing of things. We did take a very long break, so oh. um, no. that is that is what we are what we are doing. Yeah. So um, refresher. Last time, uh, yes, Devril went on a little drug spree. Little yep. Yeah, that was yes. that was uh, some, wonderful. Some experimentation with illicit substances. <clears throat> uh, Yolo. Um, you gotta yeah. try everything at least once. No, um, yep, and he actually got some information about himself in like a large, scary dose, mm. but uh, but a a dose nonetheless. And so this is good. So Devril's story progresses. Mm -hmm. um, also, his split personality uh, has a new a new face because it ate all the other ones. So just one other one. The one it, he the one it other. ate it ate Zyron. So now we have a new Zyron and he's scary and mean. Um and plans on eating Devril. And I taking love over. it. I I just I it's love how I love how scared you are of him. It's fantastic. I'm like, oh man, I don't have to play this up. This is what I did. <laughs> because I had I, I literally like I was I, I messaged Jeffrey and I was just like, Hey, if this doesn't work out, can can I do this? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. Like, I was going to do that Wait. with Tay. And I was just like, okay, sweet. So if if they're not scared of me, I can do this, <laughs> right? And he's like, yup. And I'm like, fantastic. Don't have to do it. Don't have to do yeah, it. Yeah, no, good. Well, I'm curious. Um... Oh, it'll probably happen, like, later on. Just to, like, you know. Okay. You, yeah. <laughs> it's good. Great. Anyway. Um, it's the morning after, and Devril is uh, recovering. He's getting looked uh, after or over by Evander. Mm -hmm. uh, Evander, freedom from uh, the the cuffs, and yep. he's he's going through with heavy withdrawals. He he wants more, but he also feels really shitty because he remembers everything after mm -hmm. the whole flood of information. Uh, uh, Ileana and Nurhaz come in in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Hollow comes and, you know, with a plate of food as well. Yep. And you, you know, Nurhaz asks if he's all right. Devril says he's fine. Uh, she's wondering if they want to stay longer here um or nurhaz asks if you know if they're they want to stay one more to recover or if he's good and they can leave the yeah. day he's like more like not really yeah well we're wishy-washy about it and uh devil says well you know uh, i'll i have i have some things to do i'll mm -hmm. i'll talk to you like i need some fresh air i'll i'll come back for lunch and we can discuss this so he spends the morning 
he goes over to the town hall and a- tries to see if he can find uh, like census because uh, he does remember where his family is, but it's in a different. They're in a different castle. They're they're in a different, <laughs> they're a different yeah. county or um, yeah. So he the Sandin doesn't keep it there, um, but the the clerk at the town hall is really nice. He says, you know, go here. They'll have all the information once you reach there. Um, you can find out where your family is, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then he goes down to the um, goes down to the docks and talks, uh, tries to gather some information there. Apparently, all of the ferry that crosses the river is done. The fishermen can't even leave uh, very far from the shore, just in case, because all the pirates from... I keep on forgetting where they're from because uh, something the 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 invading forests with Castle Wallace and stuff. Tyrion. No, no, the, oh. those are the 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 pirates. The 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 oh. your people. Uh, <laughs> your the, your the, um, the Americans. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, um, <laughs> I've been raiding. Uh, I've been raiding the the waters. Um, so yeah, uh, basically he finds that, oh, he finds out that the Royal Legion, uh, might join the fight because the Amerians have gotten involved. Uh, so the fort that we passed by might be mobilizing, but they have their hands full with the elven raids that just happened Mm -hmm. in Woodside. So they're dealing with that too. Uh, and... Yeah. Fun times. Fun times. Uh, they, we come back uh, for lunch. Uh, Devril's a bit late. Yeah. And uh, and we ask, oh, oh Devil, Devril asks Andrew if he has decided oh, to that's right. stay or go. And uh, Andrew says he's going to stick around a little longer. So that's good. He um, finds us fun. Yeah. And then uh, after lunch, we decide to, uh, to get run. out of... Get out yeah. of that town and move on. Uh, uh, Nur has uh, spent the morning uh, procuring supplies, so we're we are supplied. We leave uh, and ha- swing around, and the first place that we pass by is mm-hmm. Corbin Village. Yep, um, you can see the forest from there. Yeah, uh, but lovely. It's, yeah, lovely. We, we stay there for the night. Um, after dinner, uh, Nurhaz is, or sorry, Devril goes out, um, into the field and, uh, practices with, practices with his new sword. Well, hold on. Uh, this is after Evander breaks up with us. Uh, that, that was the first night. That was the first night. But Ev- this, Evander this left. It. The- yeah, this is it. No, uh, at oh. Corbin Village. Yeah. So Devil goes out after dinner, practices with a new sword. Evander talks and sa- uh, is, is spends ah. the night talking with uh, a Gaelic Right. Man, and they're, right, they right. seem to be very in very serious uh, talks. Um, Nurhaz comes out and uh, gives uh, watches as uh, Devil is a bit clumsy uh, and gives him a few pointers and then goes back in. Everyone spends the night. It's easy, easy peasy uh, for that. In the morning, Evander uh, says that he has something urgent has come up, and that he has to go take care of because if he leaves it, he doesn't know what's going to happen. Uh, he apologized to everyone. He says, "You know, I I've grown really attached to everyone, uh, so I will come back as soon as possible." Um, he will. He will uh, let his heart guide him back to Nurhaz. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so he he's going to, to he's going to leave for for a bit. Um, yeah. So he you know he takes his uh, parting handshakes, hugs, all that. Devril says that he is, uh, you know, he thanks him for all the mentoring that he's given, and that he'll remember everything that uh, he's, he's taught him and uh, hopefully that they see each other soon. So he, he goes off and rides weast. Weast. <laughs> he goes and rides weast. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And then the, the party 
goes. Uh, they they see they come up to the forest that they see from afar in Carbon, and we mm-hmm. go nope. And nope, <laughs> nope, nope. We go <laughs> not this shit nope. again. Uh, so yeah, we skirt out uh, around it. The the road obviously skirts around the edge of it, uh, and we we camp out. That's it. Mm-hmm. We camp out. Uh, we set up watches. Nothing happens that night. Yeah. Um, as as we're traveling, uh, the road is <clears throat> pretty nice. Um, it's well traveled, compact. You know, every so often there's there's a stone as a set as a marker. Um, there's plains and uh, farmland to the west of us, and to the right there's there's scaling mountains and stuff where skirting around the northern edge of the lake um so we pass by a destroyed elven fort yep much like the uh watchtower yeah except Um, this is big and it's in the middle of the road we also come across a mat like before this before the elven watchtower we come across a massive dwarf statue um and it looks like a to- a type of like forge father oh all right we wake Stat- up and we we see it like we wake up and we see the mountain as the sun's yeah. coming up it's like ca- this huge dwarf statue carved into the mountain itself like mount mm-hmm. rushmore style and this thing's like yeah. huge like it's it takes up like a whole mountain peak um, yeah yeah, and Nurhaz can't figure out uh, who it is exactly, but he, you know, he can naturally assume that it's somebody famous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but yeah, we we pass by the Elven Forest. It's it's like pick clean. It's not like the the Watchtower, which 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 was inside a forest. So there's yeah. like no armor, there's no weapons, everything of value, uh, you know, taken in like already years. And as you pass by, like we see a uh, three travelers huddled over a fire in the corner of this ruins, like, uh, cooking something and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, drying their boots and all of that jazz. And, uh, yeah, we, we, we have a little stare glare off. Devril <laughs> keeps a close eye on them, but they they, they, they're just regular travelers. They're not, yeah. they're not El Banditos. They actually, they well, didn't Jeff say that they put their boots on when yeah, they no, see us? Yeah, uh, no. Well, one of one of the people uh, took his boots like from near the fire and yeah. just like ready to run just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he wouldn't leave his boots behind. Yeah. Uh, um. But yeah. Uh. Then we end we, up. Yeah. Go pa or entering Carton after. Miles and miles of farmland, uh, mm-hmm. which uh, it's it's literally like a conglomerate of like five buildings. Wow, you skipped the old guy though. No, no, no. no. This is he was he in, is in he was in Dor- No, he wasn't. He was in Dorsent. And Dorsen. then after that, we went to Carton. Where's Dorsent? What? I thought I he was know, in I Carton. Said, yeah. I don't know. And- I was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I I'm pretty sure he was in Carton because we only okay. passed by two. Yeah. Then what the fuck is Dorset and why did I write that down? Uh, we're headed there. That's the next town over. I wrote, "We are in Dorset. Next no. town is Carton." No, no, no. That's the thirtieth. Uh-huh. We're just we're just gonna go with this because I'm I'm like a hundred percent sure I, I even hated <laughs> everything so yeah we entered so Carton. Did I. Whoa whoa whoa! All right, <laughs> uh, what if if I'm wrong I'm wrong but it's fine. I agree uh, to disagree. All right, uh, You're yes. In- okay, we're in Dorson Carton. <laughs> all right, <laughs> Dorson Carton, where it's it's just like five five buildings uh together. We enter around like third bell. So just past noon, yeah. uh, we there's like nothing here. There's just farmland. It's the town is literally there just for the people to trade with each other. Uh, there's a old man though sitting outside 
the largest looking building. Um, so Devril pops off and uh, goes up to him. He's whittling away at something very close to his face. Uh, and we asked about how the nightlife is around here. No, I'm kidding. No, we don't. <laughs> uh, jokes. <laughs> no, um, and he just bas- uh Devil. They, no one knows about this area. Uh, we don't. We just have the general map. So uh, Devil asks him what the next town over is, and it's going to be Carton totally. Dorsen. This is Dorsen Carton. Totally. Not to be <laughs> whichever one, uh, and yeah, and uh, you just asked, uh, you know, how long that is. Uh, man says that you know it's they'll probably get there in in about a day mm-hmm. uh, if they leave now. And yeah, that's it. It's a very quick conversation. This town's pretty dead, so we leave. We we mm-hmm. bring up the option of staying. But it's still really Perfect. early, and yeah. Uh, we yeah we're not people were people I don't know if people were making it or if there was actually a strange vibe in the town, but we were they, people were creeping out in the town. Yeah, it was much like that swamp village in our Iron Kingdoms campaign with the with old Pappy, except yeah. in this in this town, not everything was made out of shitty wood. Yeah, but but that's just it. Like even the even the shitty wood town wasn't creepy, you know what I'm saying? Like this nah. this this ha- town had a feel of like if we stayed, we would have to like I feel like they would all just turn into something at night, and then we would just be like, <laughs> oh fuck, like mm. they're all they're all secretly zombie werewolf. Well, tiger. we didn't stay, yeah, so that's great. We had our own shit to deal with, so. After this, we um, we set up camp, uh, or we keep going a little longer, and then we set up camp um, and uh, set up our watches. Um, exciting. Yes, very exciting. exciting. So Val takes Val takes the first watch, um, mm. and she actually she sees some movement in the trees. So we're basically just sitting there watching the forest line, um, and then just our surroundings. But basically, like mostly just keeping an eye on the forest. So. Uh, Val sees moving in the trees, uh, some white forms against green, which, like, eh, it's pretty unsettling. Um, and they're very, very tall. So she watches this for a bit. When it's, she's done with her worry. watch, she... it's, they're just wolves. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Human shaped wolves. Uh, so she, very tall human shaped wolves. Not to worry. So she tells her husband about this, that she saw it. Um, but he doesn't see anything. He rolled really bad. Uh, Fucked up. So, Hard. Yeah. So then um, the next watch is Devril's. He uh, he goes about his watch. Um, here's hoof beats in the distance uh, mm. to the north. Passing by us. Yeah. Yeah. Just passing heading, by. But it heading seems, north. It, it seems like a lot of, of hoof beats. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, and then uh, and then he goes and wakes up Ileana because it's her watch next. They haven't spoken for like two days, um, so oh. there's there's a lot of tension there. And so he uh, he just goes, "Can we talk?" And she's like, "Yeah." They decide to they decide that they're gonna talk. Um, the next day, he should get some rest because she's uh, yeah she's she just tells him that he should be. Um, like have have full full control over his uh his his mind and so he should be rested for that um in which he takes it at face value he does because not gonna go into that <laughs> so uh it's Ileana's watch she sits there she watches the forest she watches the road um and as she's scanning the forest line she sees a pair of red dots uh, in the trees and they're like they're kind of glowing and so she she stares at them you failed so hard i failed so hard and so she stares at them and the and as she stares they 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 seem like they're getting bigger mm-hmm. as she st- <laughs> um so a failed willpower <laughs> roll uh got me um, got me this. So she becomes f- 
fixed on the dots. Like she just, she can't take her eyes away from them. Um, and she just, she keeps staring at them until she feels a hand uh, on her arm. Uh, the hand whips her around and it's Andrew uh, standing behind her with her, with uh, his hand on her arm. And she turns around again to where she was facing and she's at the edge of the freaking forest. So you wonder why the <laughs> eyes were getting bigger. Yeah. So now, now Andrew's like, you got to go. And she's like, okay. And so she starts, she starts uh, going back to the campsite and uh, behind her, she hears like a muffled thunder clap. Like it's very loud. Um, so she turns and looks and Andrew is standing there with his staff and his hand out. And he's like, uh, and he's singing, singing a little, a little tune. And he is holding off a long, just, just a hand, a long white, uh, or a long fingered white hand. Um, and he, he manages to make it withdraw and it withdraws back into the forest and like everything rumbles. There's like this huge growl. Um, and after this, um, both of you run back to camp. Yeah. We run back to camp and, uh, Ileana notices that, uh, after everything, after another rumble, uh, all the crickets start up again, and she didn't really notice them all stop when she uh, when she had become entranced with the with these dots. Uh, so she asked Andrew what it was, and he says it's an allop. Um, allop. Allop. They hypnotize travelers, and they lure them into the forest, and possibly eat them alive, or like flay them, or just do like unspeakable gross shit to travelers. Um, yeah. So that's Ileana's watch. She spends the next, uh, little while, um, in fetal position. (laughs) And, uh, and (laughs) Andrew doesn't get much sleep either. He's just kind of sitting there with her, uh, wide-eyed and creeped out. Yep. Uh, He's he's very disturbed. Like, Yeah, they tell Holo, like, don't... Don't stare at, the, at some red lights if you see them. And she's like, why? And they're like, just don't do it. And she's like, okay. And so Holo does her watch. It's uneventful, thank goodness. Uh, and so when Dawn arrives, um, everyone kind of notices how shaken Andrew and Ileana are. And uh, over breakfast, Andrew uh, reluctantly fills everybody in on uh, on what happened. Tells us about the Alps. Yep. So we now know about Alps. Mm-hmm. Let's go Take- kill one. No. <laughs> I guess that would help with the Alp problem. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, and we we called it there. It was, uh, it was, a, yeah, yeah, it was a, a pretty dead a slow. Well, it was a, it was like a our introductory back. Was it introductory? Yeah, reintroduction. Introductory. Yeah. I literally, I, like, I was looking at Devil. I'm like, I don't know who you are anymore. I don't. What do you want? Yeah, we <laughs> all you... forgot everything. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so that, like that was good. Back. That was good. It was a uh, nice uh, ease back into it. Um, sure. And yeah, that that was it. Uh, so as we said before, we're not going to be meeting for a while. Uh, but yeah. hopefully after that we have we have we we have pretty clear schedules I think we, yeah I we think finally so. sorted out and I think like ev- everything's settled down uh, yeah like Mar- like Bunny is done school he's done done oh good for him yeah Aww. Uh, Yay. so he's 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 just working um, nice yeah and then you'll be back we won't have Tay for a while. Um, Tay's going through some personal stuff, so he's uh he's on a hiatus. But we're That's going why on. With Evander. Evander's That's why Evander. That's why Evander go, left. go yeah. leave uh, to deal with stuff in his homeland. There you uh, go. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much. I I just want we we haven't really talked, I guess, since this vlog's pretty short. Uh, I just <laughs> want to say thank you to everyone who has been with us too with all like this hiatus and just like stuck through and just like 
a part of both my my personal stream and SNRPG. Like you guys rock. Uh, yeah. Like I don't. Yeah, I I have no idea what to say. Um, once once we start back up again, uh, we'll try to get um as much content up. Me and Captain Legs are are still chugging away. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll we'll <laughs> figure something out. We'll figure we're fr- we're figuring something out. Uh, yeah, I feel like we we bit off a lot more than we could chew. Um, but we'll definitely get something out there for you guys because um, it'll be a very productive October. Yes, definitely. That's, yeah. Um. Because you have time. I have time. I have. There you go. I say this now. Yeah. I've, and then yeah. Have I have more time than I did. This so is true. This is true. Things things will be will be made yeah. for real this time. For for real. Like like scarves. <laughs> like for knitting real. project. All right. Yeah. Um. But that is it from both of us. Do you have any parting words? Um. No. All right. (laughs) Uh, Thank you guys for watching. And as usual, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.